100% pure rock. 107.7 The Bone. So my first question is, uh, how upset is everybody that Thin Lizzy hasn't been nominated for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame yet? <laughs> furious. Absolutely furious. Seething. We were discussing this the other week, actually, on the bus, weren't we? we were. And uh, I think we, we, we came to the conclusion that... Um, we had to become a lot more famous. <laughs> so that was the idea behind that. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> That's it. Because I know there's a Facebook page to, to put you in. Um, I wonder if you if you need to have a campaign at some point. Um, yeah, I think you have to be nominated. That's yeah. right. That, yeah, someone was saying you have to be nominated. Um, so I nominated these guys. <laughs> <laughs> One thing I also notice is that uh, Thin Lizzy tends to be a band that musicians are fans of. Uh, have you guys noticed that? And is it, uh, I mean, especially flattering that bands like to come out and watch you? Yes, I mean, absolutely. Um, I think that's due to the fact that, you know, Thin Lizzy are probably one of the coolest bands on the planet. And I'm saying that as a fan before I was in the band. Um, you know, everybody I know always rates Lizzy really, really highly, certainly in musicianship and songwriting and the whole swagger that the band had, you know, when when Phil was with us and stuff like that. So yeah, you know, it's it's nice when your peers come out and check you out and say nice things about you. Now that you guys have been going on for so long without Phil, what's it like up there playing all those great songs, um, getting to kind of carry on? I mean, yeah, I mean, it's 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 it was always fantastic uh, <coughs> playing with Phil. Um, it, you know, he, he had this sort of fantastic sort of uh, quality about him that. Um, you know, it's very difficult to sort of emulate, really, um, <clears throat> and we do miss him a great deal. But you know, I think I think Ricky has come in now and done a fantastic job. You know, he's got like a a, a nice humility that Phil had, as, and uh, he's obviously Irish, which helps. Um, and you know, I, personally, from you know, from one of the older guys that was there with Phil, um, I think this is the best lineup we've had since since Phil sadly left us. You know, um, and I think. Phil would be proud of it, really, personally, you know. I would think it's not, it's almost impossible to play a show without thinking of him. What kind of things, like, pop into your mind when you're playing the songs? Do you wanna, you, well, I mean, uh, you know, every night we've kind of made it a tradition to kind of raise a toast to Phil and his memory, because without question, you know, we wouldn't be here right now if, if it weren't for Phil and uh, his massive contribution, uh, not just as a performer, but certainly as a writer and... Uh, you know, I, we've always said, I know when Ricky and I first spoke before I joined the band, he, that was really important to him to get it across to me how much a part of what the band is doing now, Phil is a part of that and always will be. You know, his family uh, is very supportive and excited about what Thin Lizzy is doing now. And that's a, that's a great feeling for us. You know, we would never want to do anything to, to, to disrespect that at all. You know, the songs are just so timeless and we know... We get to see it every night now. You know, the fans, they want to hear that music and they want to celebrate it. And, uh, you know, it's an honor for us to get to play these songs. So, um, in speaking of the future of Thin Lizzy, um, you guys are going on. Um, do you look forward a year, two, five years ahead? I mean, aside from, you know, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame thing that we'd all like to see happen. Yeah, I mean, obviously, we, we, we're enjoying the uh, the run of um, <coughs> gigs that we do. Now we've been out quite a lot this year. We were out um, in the UK and Europe. And... Uh, you know, it's just great fun, really. It's um, it's lovely to play the songs, and you know, with with the, with the guys again, with Scott and Brian and myself, and and now Damon and Ricky, and it's as I say, it's the best lineup I think personally since since uh, we lost Phil, um, and that's you know we do it we do it because we love the music, we we love the, you know, we're all proud of what we were part of, and. Um, you know, it's a great honour to play. So, we'll, as far as people keep coming to see us, we'll, I should imagine we'll keep going for a while. You know, is the plan to keep it uh, a live band experience only, or are you thinking about coming up with albums? We're thinking about. You know, we are. We are going to try and do some writing. That's we've pretty much agreed on that. Whether that ever comes out depends on how great it turns out and how we all feel about it. But certainly, with the, with the, the talent that we have in the band, everybody writes. Um, so it would be, you know kind of foolish not to pursue that and you know it might be a case of we write 10 tracks and we put one out just to see what the Lizzie fans think of it and if they dig it great here's another one if they don't there's a huge catalogue we can play so uh, you know either way it's uh, either way it's it's uh, it's gravy is there a timetable for this with everybody being musicians are you all sitting on a ton of riffs 
Um, we've all got ideas and stuff, you know. I think now we're, we're starting to talk about maybe trying to pull it together in, in the new year, maybe do something. Um, I, we've just been on the road so much, it's very hard to focus on, you know, getting us all together to write, but... We'll see. I mean, we're, we're just, you know, the band's re-establishing itself, as Darren said, and, and the word's getting out there, and, and, you know, the popularity of the band seems to be, you know, fantastic at the minute, which is great, and we want to just keep pursuing that and keep keep pushing it, you know? And just, is there anything specific that you would say to fans? Because I know that you guys have seen all the chatter that I've seen that, you know, there are some people who say, oh, it's not Thin Lizzy, it's not fair, and then there are other people who are like, it's great music, and they're playing it, so we don't care. Come to the show and check it out, and, you know, if you don't like it at the end of the show, then so what? You've, you know, if it's not for you, that's great. But I guarantee you that that won't be, that won't be the case, that you'll, you'll leave with a big smile on your face. And as Darren rightly said, it's, you know, if somebody leaves that, that, that venue and goes, you know what? That's that's the best thing since Phil was alive. That's as close as it's going to get without the great the great man being there. Yeah. I mean, the Job done. You know? The other thing I'd like to say is, I mean, we all feel the same about this. We'd, there's nobody more than us us band at the moment. The whole band. Uh, there's nothing more we'd like more to see than to see Phil with us today. You know, we all loved him, um, and you know, if we could bring him back, we would. But you know, we miss him dearly. And and really, what we're trying to do is just keep the the memory of uh, you know of the memory of the, the band alive, you know it, it obviously is different without Phil. Um, no one will ever replace Phil, and I don't think Ricky's trying to replace Phil. He's just you know we're just we're just trying to keep the band going for you know for for all the right reasons really. And clearly, you've got a ringing endorsement with Judas Priest taking you out on tour. How's that been? It's, it's been incredible. Um, you know, as, as we were discussing the possibility of writing new material, you know. You always start every tour with these good intentions. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring my recorder. I'm gonna bring my my uh, studio rig, you know, so we can. And then invariably, you want to watch Zach and the Black Label guys. And then Glenn Tipton comes in the dressing room and wants to set up around a golf in Seattle. And and the next thing you know, it's like, who, who got the vino tonight? Where's the whiskey? And, and it's just it's it's been like this traveling circus. And all the bands get along fantastic. There's this massive mutual respect. You know, between all of us, so we're just having a great time, and it's such a great opportunity for Thin Lizzy to to reach some fans. You know, the the band never really was able to tour as much in the United States as Lizzy did in Europe and some other countries. So, we're interested in the people that are into it, and they're as excited about it as we are. Has there been a good tour story yet? Um. Well, a lot of the tour, tour stories are kind of the old ones that Scott and, and, and Darren and, and Brian will tell us, you know, um, Scott's got some unbelievable ones about sort of him and Phil back in the day, and yeah. it's hard to compete with those, you know? <laughs> <laughs> they kind of take it to a new level, so it's usually just, you know, you sit down and, and Scott will have a glass of wine and stories start coming out of Scott, and, and, and myself and Dame are just like, wow, you know? Awesome. Has there been a favourite for you that he's told? Um, I, I think my favourite is when they were recording with, you know who Cliff Richard is? The English singer, song singer, Cliff, uh, Cliff Richard's like a, a very old English rock and roll singer from the 50s who's like a grandmother's favourite now, you know, and, and very, very safe and very polite. Like Barry Manilow. Yeah, there you Kinda go. Like good, England, good. Okay. England's good. Barry yeah. Manilow. Yeah. <laughs> so I think they were recording in London and Cliff was in one of the other studios in the, in, in the building and... Uh, uh, Phil decided to bring in Cliff to see what he thought of the new Lizzie stuff and obviously I think Scott and, and Phil were uh, up to no good uh, doing various things while Cliff was sort of sitting there going <laughs> tapping along you know and, <laughs> and, and I think I, I just loved this picture that in my mind you know I think it's pretty cool you know Awesome thank you I think we're going to have fun tonight 100% pure rock 107.7 The Bone